she went over to play for FIBA Eurobasket, and she just, whatever has been asked of her, whatever role she's needed to play, she has done just that, and she's obviously a scorer, but that's been a big part of this team that they need to continue with, the fact that everyone understands how potent they can be playing as a team, and it takes a lot with the type of talent that they have, but just everyone playing together and playing for one another. All the Connecticut starters have the luxury of taking this fourth quarter off because of this big lead off of the miss. Park, the rookie out of South Korea, knocks it down. 85-57, under four minutes to go on opening day from the Mohegan Sun Arena. Glad to have you along for the opener. It's been a good one for the Sun. Morgan Tuck has four points. Every player has scored for the Sun except Brianna Jones. Sun last year averaged 86 points per game. Now a second in the league. Well, they're already one point beyond that average with 3.30 to go. Tuck off for the pick and the pop. Bantam, good fake. Nicely done, huh? 90 points for the Sun. That kissed the bottom of the net. I mean, we mentioned Lexi Brown's smooth strip. Rachel Bantam shot. That's what we saw her many years playing for Minnesota. But you could tell the confidence she has in it right now. That's Morgan Tuck. Well, that was an open lane right now. Not much resistance, and it's understandable. It's a blowout game. Las Vegas very undermanned right now. They will get players back and get them back soon. But today is one they'll just hit the delete button and, re and forget this as quickly as possible. 2.21 to go. What is a blowout for the Sun on opening day? They lead at 92.57, and we're back right after this. The homestand continues this Thursday. Next Connecticut Sun game Thursday as they take on the L.A. Sparks. Game time, 7 o'clock, and you can watch that game on ESPN2. Glad to have you along today on League Pass and Twitter. And here's Asia Wilson, one of the reasons he wanted to watch today. And she has a double-double in her pro debut, 12 points, 10 rebounds. Outside shooting has been a struggle for her. She's been well defended in the post, 3 for 14, but she's 7 for 9 from the free throw line now. We'll keep going back to this with Wilson. Her moves, her shot, she's been showing and showcasing exactly what she can do. Connecticut has done an excellent job not only being physical with her and tough on her catches and when she has the ball really bodying up into her, but also just showing multiple bodies. And on top of scoring defensively, love the game plan of Kurt Miller and how they've really protected the paint so well, knowing that the Aces have wanted to pound it inside. One of those cruise control games for the Sun here in the second half. Tamara Young, 19 points to lead all Vegas scorers. Sun by 33, under two. Bentley, a three again. Alex Bentley now has three three-pointers. And 18 points to lead all scorers for the Sun. Tamara Young leads all scorers in the game. She now has 21. A game effort from her on a day her team, her underman team, has struggled. And for Bill Lambeer and for the Aces, there's a lot of good to still I, I don't know if Coach Lambeer will feel this way, but a lot of good to still take from this game and, and what you've seen out of Tamara Young and how there's been some development of Nia Coffey here in her second year, Asia Wilson showing the type of player she can be. Some other younger players like Jamie Nar, they had a lot of toughness, put in a ton of effort, continued to play hard, 
But the challenge against this Connecticut Sun team, and especially for a shorthanded team like the Aces, is just how deep. And we talked about the depth, but they can keep running bodies at you on top of the fact that they want to play up-tempo. They want to push the ball, play in the open court. But even when they're in the half court, there is so much ball movement and player movement and so many actions to defend that it is such a challenge and it will absolutely wear you down. Well, those free throws are notable because by making those free throws, Brianna Jones now completes the, uh, the column for the Sun. Every player has scored for the Sun in this game. They're looking to go over 100 here. Alex Bentley. Off of a couple of fakes, a couple of beautiful fakes, but missed fires and got it back. Too strong crowd reacts. They want 100. You're greedy, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. They have a right to be. Absolutely. They're having a lot of fun here on opening day. Well, Young doesn't stop, does she? 36-point lead for the Connecticut Sun, and she keeps on going. Well, and you see how she slices right through the middle of the defense. A player like Tammy Young, she's got quick feet, and so she's going to the basket. She's got strength. She's got some power. But she also understands the gaps within a defense and angles, and she's done a good job of mixing up going to the basket with also taking some mid-range shots and pull-up shots early on. Well, the crowd has loved what it has seen from the Connecticut Sun on opening day. The ovation has already begun with under 30 seconds to go. The Sun hearing the applause from the crowd here inside the Mohegan Sun Arena. Deanna Jones will go back to the line, made a couple of moment ago. The place erupts. <laughs> they wanted 100. Do I hear 101? Crowd loves it. The sun break the century mark on opening day. That's a nice way to get things going, isn't it? And holding your opponent to under 70 points, 65 currently. It's been on both ends for Kurt Miller's crew. About a half a second different shot clock, game clock. Lewis misses, rebound tipped around. The rookie, Lexi Brown, holds the buzzer sounds. And the Sun with a 36-point victory in opening day. They defeat the Las Vegas Aces 101-65. So the Sun with a resounding victory in opening day. Rough opener, first game ever for the Las Vegas Aces. It's the Sun, 101, the Aces 65, post-game coverage right after this.